Welcome to Space Club. If you're with the Arroyo Seco Space Club at this time, take out your worksheet. We're going to fill that in as we go. If you're just visiting from the YouTube world, welcome. We're glad to have you with us. Today, we're going to be looking at our solar system. Now, to get busy with the solar system, we first got to start talking about the star that we surround. Keep in mind now, we're in the Milky Way galaxy, and we're just one star system out of a trillion star systems within the Milky Way galaxy itself. So our solar system completely revolves around the sun, which is our star. Now, but around that star, we have eight planets. Four of them we call terrestrial planets, and four we're gonna call gas planets. So the first four planets are the terrestrial planets. We're gonna start from the sun, and we're gonna work our way outward from there. So the very first planet next to the sun is the planet Mercury. Now you would think that Mercury is the hottest planet since it's the closest to the sun. That's not true. You're gonna find that in just a second. But Mercury is a rock planet closest to the sun, extremely hot. So there's no possible way that humans could live on that planet. It is just blistering hot, as is the next planet we're gonna talk about as well. Moving away from the sun to the second planet, we now have Venus. And Venus is the actual hottest planet in our solar system. Even though it's the second planet from the sun, it is the hottest planet. And the reason is, is because the atmosphere holds in all of that heat and it is just unbelievably hot. There's just no chance that human beings could survive on that planet either. We would burn to a crisp. Moving away from the sun, we get to our third rock planet and that's what we call the third rock from the sun. It's our own home planet of Earth. Now Earth has this cool situation where it's just far enough away from the sun that humans and all life can live. We're not gonna burn up from the sun, we're also not gonna freeze because we're so far away from the sun. It's that perfect spot in our, our solar system. Keep moving out to our fourth planet from the sun and it's the last rock planet and that planet is Mars. Now humans cannot exist on Mars either, but we can set up some sort of, a, of an environment where possibly we could live if we're living indoors. It's not so hot that it's gonna burn everything to a crisp. It's not so cold that everything's gonna freeze and just crumble underneath it. It is too cold for us to live on it, but we can set up an, an environment inside maybe a, a dome. We're looking to see what we can do. In fact, that's what a SpaceX is currently looking at. The uh, Artemis project is when they're gonna try to go to the moon and then from the moon to Mars and hopefully set up some kind of a space station there where people could inhabit it. And now we're ready for the gas planets. But before we get to the gas planets, there is a ring of asteroids that goes around that separates the, the rock planets from the gas planets. That's called the asteroid belt. On the other side of the asteroid belt, we get to our gas planets, the first one being the biggest planet in the entire solar system by quite a bit, and that's Jupiter. Jupiter is by far the biggest planet in our solar system, but it doesn't have a rocky surface. It's a gas planet, so there's no chance that we're ever gonna be able to land on Jupiter and set up any kind of a civilization. Moving away from Jupiter, we're now going to head to Saturn. Saturn is also huge. Not quite as big as Jupiter, but it is a giant planet. What we all know Saturn for are the rings around it, these beautiful rings that you can actually see through a telescope. In fact, let me show you a photograph I've taken from my own backyard through a telescope. You can see the rings that surround the planet. Absolutely a beautiful planet. Probably one of the most beautiful planets to observe in our solar system. Now, as we continue to move our way out, we're gonna get to the first ice planet. This is a planet that's surface is just covered with ice. Again, not a planet we could ever inhabit, not a planet we're gonna be able to land on. Well, I guess we probably could, because it is ice, but nothing, no place that we could ever inhabit. And that will be Uranus. Uranus is also a massive planet, but again, it's not a solid surface planet. It's an ice planet, so it's not one that we will ever land and colonize. And now finally moving to our farthest extreme planet in our solar system, we've got Neptune, another giant ice planet that is so incredibly cold because you gotta figure now the distance between this planet and the sun is the greatest distance of any of the planets in our solar system. So it's gonna be the coldest planet not a planet we're gonna ever set up a civilization on as well. Now we've got a little planet that's no longer a planet, but when I was a kid it was a planet, and that is Pluto. Pluto is a rock planet, but we have now relegated that to being a dwarf planet, so we don't even consider it one of our eight planets in our solar system. Once upon a time it was, maybe someday they'll decide to put it back in, but for now, Pluto, not one of our eight planets in the solar system. Now, moving beyond our planets, we have a, another belt of 
of rocks and ice, and it's called the um, it's called the Kyber Belt. And this is what separates our solar system from the galaxy out beyond it. As we've stated, this is just one planetary system surrounding one star in the galaxy. So that just gives you an idea of how incredibly big our galaxy is with trillions of stars just like our own sun. Some of those have planetary systems just like the sun does. So we are one planet in one system surrounding one star out of trillions of stars just in our own galaxy. And then there are trillions of galaxies outside of our own galaxy, which gives you an idea of how big this universe is. But we're gonna to get to that in a later video. That's all we've got for today. That is our solar system. I hope you filled in your charts as we went, and I'll see you guys next time at Space Club.